Hi, it's Dr. Bob Pro at the Wellness and Injury Center with some information that hopefully will help you to achieve the best performance of your life. Uh, in this video and in a, a few others that are going to follow, I'm going to focus on a supplement that we've been using, frankly, for quite a few years that is finally getting the attention that's due it. And that supplement is berberine. It's, it is really profound and it's very, very effective. You see, in our practice, we focus on the integrity of the brain and uh, its effects on the rest of the body and vice versa. You know, the body as it goes is going to affect the brain. So the bottom line is we want the brain to be as healthy as it could possibly be because the healthier the brain, the healthier the body below it. That's depending on it. Well, getting back to the berberine, we have many patients that have come to us that are type 2 diabetics and most of which are on metformin, glucophage, you know, and metformin is a very, very dangerous drug. It has a lot of, a lot of bad side effects to it that most of the users aren't even aware of. So um, in addressing that and helping their bodies to get back to the achieving the best performance of their life, we recommended berberine as part of the treatment plan. Now, I do want to say to you, because unfortunately, when people watch videos or they read these articles on the internet, they erroneously many times think that the one thing, the subject of the talk, is responsible totally and wholly for the great results at the end of the presentation. And that's not true. So what I'm saying here is that I don't want you to think that berber berberine alone is responsible for getting people reversing diabetes or, uh, you know, helping the brain or the digestion or the weight loss or all the other benefits it, it can, it can uh, promote in your body. It alone by itself is not responsible for that. But as in our office, and I'm sure other offices or clinics around, it is part and parcel of a total treatment plan in order to help the body to recover from whatever it is ch being challenged by, okay? So again, I don't want you to think that the berberine by itself is the answer. It's it's not. It's just, it's, a, it's an important part of the total answer, however. Uh, but anyway, getting back to the berberine, and I don't want to miss anything that I've written down. Its abilities, uh, just topically, it can help to reduce uh, the blood sugar levels. It helps individuals in uh, their weight loss, and it can improve the heart health as well as the brain health uh, in addition, and also it's a it's a very powerful anti and inflammatory. It's a very uh, powerful antimicrobial. Uh, it helps in in destroying and clearing out intestinal parasites. It helps in destroying the Candidiasis albicans or yeast infections. And if you're an individual that currently is being challenged by a yeast infection I might I would invite you to go to our website we've downloaded a there's a video there that you can watch of a webinar that I did uh, a little while back that talks about candidiasis albicans and the other types of candida infections or infestations that you can be experiencing or suffering from. It's it would be well worth your while of viewing that. But the the berberine we use that in, in helping our patients who are engaged in uh, yeast infections. Uh, so what it does, basically, it will decrease the insulin resistance that the diabetic may be experiencing, making the blood sugar lowering uh, hormone insulin much, much more effective. So therefore, they don't have to use the metformin or they don't have to use it at all. Uh, it increases glycolysis or glycolysis. That means that it's going to help the breakdown of the glucose inside the cells. It can decrease the glucose production in the liver where your body's not producing that sugar. It also slows the digestion of carbohydrates and it can increase the number of beneficial bacteria in your gut. You know, to, in today's day and age, everybody's you know, on the bandwagon about probiotics, prebiotics, symbiotics, the whole nine yards. But you you may not realize that berberine is very, very effective in helping the body to increase the number of good bacteria uh, that are beneficial in the gut. And, you know, I'm, I'm also, I uh, we use Chinese medicine in, in our center here. 
And it's interesting to note that berberine has been used over probably 2,000, 3,000 years in Chinese medicine as well. Um, and it will be used uh, or it can be used by a, a person who is under the throes of type 2 diabe uh, diabetes without the adverse reactions or the, the damage that metformin would do. So there's no negative side effects. And I do want to share with you just a couple here. There were two really well-received uh, well and peer-reviewed researches that research that was done, and it was one of which was published in the journal Metabolism, and the other one was published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology. And they, they exposed uh, on the the benefits of berberine in comparison, and in this research, they compared it to the usage of metformin or glucophage. And um, in this research here, they they demonstrated that the berberine was much more effective than the metformin, and without the negative side effects. And in this particular in these particular studies, these individuals, uh, the berberine reduced the A1C. It reduced the triglycerides, the LDL, the total cholesterol, and it also reduced the blood pressure. It lowered the blood pressure in these individuals. That's something or these things that it did or was able to accomplish were it's not able to, to be achieved with the usage of metformin or glucophage. So in, this, uh, in, this, in these studies, the hemoglobin A1C it was decreased from 9.5 to 7.5. That's almost a 21% reduction. And uh, the fasting blood glucose level went from 190.8 to 124.2. Quite profound. And the postprandial blood glucose, it went from 1 or 356.4 and it dropped down to 199.8. And the triglycerides, they went from 100.5 to 79.2. Quite amazing, quite profound, quite quite effective here. So the bottom line here is, is that the berberine helped to reduce the, um, the diabetic peripheral neuropathy, the diabetic neuropathy, and also the diabetic cardiomyopathy, uh, and uh, it was also, uh, in, in our practice, we've seen it used as well, or we've used it as well, as a powerful antioxidant and a natural anti-inflammatory. So this is all about berberine here in a nutshell. And it's something, like I said, that we've been using for quite a few years that I wanted to make you aware of as well. And in the next few videos, what I'm going to do is to dive a little bit deeper, answer any and all questions that you might have. You just go ahead and, and put them in down below. Or what you can do is email your questions to office at pro-activewellness.com. That's our email address. You can email them to office at pro-active, um, pro uh, good night, Irene. You know, here I am doing this video and I forget my own, or the, the email address here, office at pro-activewellness.com. You can go ahead and email those questions to us and um, we'll try to answer them as best we can and help you out. I want to thank you for putting up with uh, my nonsense here and watching this video all the way through. And until the next one, hopefully they'll be much better. And as always, God bless.